Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, and now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts, Mr. Shenanigans himself, and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much again, Mr. Announcer, sir, for that lovely intro. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, episode 934. We're going to talk about a little bit about um, AEW Rampage that is happening. As you know, Collision is tomorrow. And, you know, all the pay-per-views are out of the way until next month because we got, you know, Crown Jewel... From the WWE side, then Survivor Series, and then you got Full Gear coming up in November. So they had a trios matchup. It'll be the Hardys and Brothers Zay took on the team of Daniel Garcia. And 2.0, that'll be the team of Daddy Magic, Matt Menard, and Cool Hand, Angela Parker. And, you know, they've been, you know, between those three and Jake Hager, they've been, and, and, and Anna J. Hurt, um, they've been a little out of sorts since uh, Chris Jericho was suspected of, jo of of joining the Don Callis family, which is no, it's not true. And, uh, and despite the, despite that little, little tiff between the three, no, the four of them, Daniel Garcia and 2.0 did pick up the victory over, um, over the Hardys and Brother Zay. Uh, Renee Paquette interviewed Penta Ezra and Merido, but B Bullet Club interrupts Interrupts Penta, and, you know, Jay White's been running his mouth how he stole MJF's title. And Juice Robinson, I don't know how, he, you know, he's got, he's got no room to talk after what he said to MJF, which is really disgusting and disrespectful. But then again, why did Tony Storm marry a guy like Juice Robinson? I'll never know. But, uh... When they're running their mouths, and so this coming Wednesday, I do believe... Uh, Jay White will go one on one with Penta El Zero which is going to be very interestingly enough to say. And uh, and then and then they interviewed Garcia and two point and Renee interviewed uh, Daniel Garcia and two point oh after their victory, and it seems like they're still arguing. And Matt Menard's burning his mouth, being a big mouth, and Angela Parker was like, "Come on, we gotta get out of here. We're still a family. We won, didn't we?" So. So there's that. Um, Trent Beretta of Best Friends took on Jay Lethal with Team Jarrett, Team Planet Jarrett, or they call them Team Slap Nuts. And, uh, and, you know, they all did their chicanery at ringside. You know, J uh, J Sanjay Dutt, or like they call him Sanjay Butthead, he got knocked out and uh, by Trent Beretta, but then that distraction ended up costing him in the end, despite Chuck Taylor coming out to help. And Lethal with the Lethal Jay Lethal with the Lethal Injection did end up winning the matchup. And then Ortiz addresses Mike Santana. Santana confronts Ortiz and says, Hey, how are we going to do this? We want a challenge. It's like Proud and Powerful have broken up, and believe me, and it is something to uh, like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be a heck of a confrontation, whatever they Decide to say they want to go back to the streets to do this, back to their roots. This will be a heck of a street fight, that's for sure. Sky Blue, who's been undergoing an attitude change since getting misted by Julia Hart of the House of Black, and uh, took on Emmy Sakura, and uh, and Sky Blue, in a hard-fought battle, ended up winning the matchup. And Claudio Castagnoli and Wheeler Yuta took on the Gates of Agony. That's Bishop Khan and, to and Toa Leona. And as these two teams were at, Prince Nana ended up getting involved in the matchup. You know, doing his little goofy dancing and all that. Claudio Castagnoli chased him out of the arena, leaving Wheeler Yuta to fend for himself against both members of the Gates of Agony. But he kept on kicking out of their moves. And uh, Claudio Castagnoli came back, helped out Wheeler Yuta, and ended up, in fact... The Black Blackpool Combat Club ended up winning the match. So, 
So that is the results for AEW um, Rampage. I'm going to try to upload. I don't want to upload like five, six videos tomorrow night. and want to make sure I get caught up in, in something like this and uh, um, uh, catch up on all my videos and all that so I can get some sleep. And I've not gotten any sleep. In fact, somebody woke me up at 1.30 in the morning on the phone call. It happens to be a wrong number. It's like, everybody's trying to, you know, and I got people said it, you know, sending me videos and whatnot. And it's like, uh, with everything going on, and it's like, oh, man, you know, I'm trying to relax. You know, I'm trying to relax and focus one day at a time. I'm going to focus on today. Think about today. But, you know, you got me worried about what's going to happen, you know, you know, tomorrow or five, ten years from now. I don't know. You know, things are getting crazy, but, you know, I, all I do is keep standing and praying. That's what I need to do. And uh, and just not worry about anything. Just worry about what you're doing today. And that's what I do. So, and plus, we got to be excellent to each other. So, so let's get back to um, ramp, um, AEW. It's going to be a very interesting collision. Um, collision, we have the TNT title on the line tomorrow night. Uh, Christian Cage defense against Brian Danielson. The... TBS title on the line will be uh, on the line as Chris Stanton Leonard takes on Sky Blue. The TV title will also be on the line. Uh, Samoa Joe defends it against Willie Mack. So this is a big yeast special. You know, big meaty man slapping meat. And that's the way it is. So, um, yeah, we're having so much fun there. Uh, I want to give a birthday shout out to David, uh, say Dennis. He's turning 20. So happy birthday. No longer a teenager, David. I wish I could be there with you to hang out with you, but. After I get to upload these videos, I'm I'm dead. I'm dog tired, man. Got to get some sleep. I got work tomorrow, and a lot of crazy stuff, a lot of insane stuff's going down. I'm, so I'm hoping to uh, be there and uh, survive. So that's what my intentions are. And as you know, cart. I got so I can decrease the videos, um, the videos I have to do. So. That's it. That's all the time we have on this show. Remember, next week, Super Mario Wonder is coming out. I'll probably play that for my, for my standard guard Kato. I'll probably set everything up and show you guys. My Super Mario Wonder game plan. Probably won't play the whole thing for an hour or so, but, you know, I want to I want to have some fun with it, and that's the most important thing. So, so um, hope you guys have been blessed with these great videos, and uh, I always give you great positive content. Uh, so, Sometimes, you know, you guys want to escape from what's going on, and somehow you can come here and uh, what's going on in your lives or in, the, or in the world and all that, you want to escape. That's what also my main goal is to bring smiles on people's faces and find something to escape to. So I'm hoping and hoping to be an inspiration and set an example of, of being a good person, and that's what I need to do. And I'm, I've been, like I said, I've been taught in, in, a, in a good home. Um, been trained very well by good parents and they care about me and they love me and they want to treat me the right way so that's what I like to do with all my well, that's what I like to do on this channel is to bring smiles to your faces and have a lot of fun no matter what no matter what nationality what race what color what sexual preference I like everybody I want to be friends with people I want to show love to people and that's what I need to do you know and not be mean, not be a mean spirited bully or anything like that. I want to have fun, and that's what all there is to it. So, yeah, so AEW Collision is going to be interesting tomorrow night. And uh, will we see Timeless Tony Storm? I mean, we didn't see her tonight on Rampage, but will we see her tomorrow night? I'd like to see the, another appearance of Timeless Tony Storm. I'm hoping. See what she has up her sleeve. All right? So, uh, that's all the time we have on the show, episode 934. We'll get, we'll get that close to that 1,000 episodes, all right? So I will see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful night. Good night. And until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. Have a good night, everybody. Be blessed. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production, in association with 
a sweet bowl for raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lehman's Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.